three things have really hit me today. Uh, the first is the passion for justice and the compassion which Dr. Chowdhury talked about, whether it was the students or Ali Wynn this morning, uh, the wings of excellence, the questions which have been asked. People are not only ambitious, but young people have such a powerful sense of justice. And the passion of that came out so strongly. And I have to say, that gives me great hope. The second point which has hit me is the complexity of just power. We just saw it uh, in the discussion that we've had now. It is a complex issue. Uh, I've been surprised at how much the Arab Spring has come into one after another of our deliberations today. And once again, that's a complex issue, as came out, I think, very clearly uh, in the interview of Mr. Assad. If you looked at the transfer of economic power from west to east, again, a very complex issue. The third thing which has struck me, because it hasn't been mentioned very much, but it is really the nature of power itself. We all see the power of the military world. We see the power of the financial world. But what about the power of somebody like Mahatma Gandhi or the power of Mother Teresa or the power of William Wilberforce who abolished in the UK slavery and introduced that bill into the House of Commons each year for 23 years or of St. Francis of Assisi who gave back his cloak and his wealth to his father or of Ayan Hirsi Ali and what she did very courageously. And I thought that this power, to me, came across so strongly with Miss Drew in The Wings of Excellence when she said that power lies deep in our hearts. And from my bedroom window in the hotel, I look out and I see there this great abbey of St. Gallen. And right at the top of the towers of the abbey, uh, there's a cross. And I think to myself, how is it that someone who dies on a cross, which you would think was the exact opposite of any demonstration of power, yet today has a following in the world of two billion people? And you know, I believe, therefore, as we look at just power, this is a dimension that we should really ask ourselves. In the words of Miss Drew, power lies deep in our hearts. Can I thank you so much for listening, participating, for being a terrific audience. We've had a feast today. After a feast must come a rest, and in fact, another feast of a different kind. So I wish you a very happy dinner, wherever it may be. Thank you very much.